Boyan I at it, Stropo, one of the founders and the chief everything <laughs> guy. Um, so uh, we'd like to show a couple of uh, very brief cases just to sketch what this technology helps companies to achieve. Because no technology is for the sake of technology. And our first case study is with a company that's doing high-end VDI, virtual machines uh, that they sell to people that are doing uh, rendering and um, card systems and things like that. So uh, this company wanted to be the best in their domain. Uh, they wanted a very fast system, uh, very low latency, uh, and cost efficient, which meant a very minor footprint of the overall storage solution on their CPU. Um, so uh, the initial phase was uh, 39 servers. Um, in, in their case, it was uh, KVM, Storpo for the storage bit, and Quad Stack for the management layer. They like that solution, so uh, this is their stack. Uh, Storpo only took C to a couple of CPU cores uh, on the servers, uh, and we only had two NVMEs per server. That's because they, had, they needed about 90 terabyte usable of storage, and spreading the SSDs across all servers obviously gave us uh, better throughput uh, on the uh, system level. Uh, 225 gigabit network, uh, so this is like a, a small diagram of the system. Actually, their nodes have four, NV, uh, four base, so they have you know, room to grow, like to double the capacity in this existing system. Couple of Ethernet switches, very simple, very elegant. Um, Again, these are performance numbers that are limited mostly of I.O. available in these uh, NVMe uh, drives. So basically they were doing like real life performance of about 7 million I.O.s uh, at quite good latency again. It's like uh, less than 150 microseconds on the uh, 4K read and about 100 microseconds on the 4K write. Um, even more interesting is how the system behaves as you start to hammer it. Like you push it to the limit and the latency is uh, extremely good in, in the sense of you uh, harass the system and it doesn't go out of bound, but latency you know, smoothly uh, increases and increases and at some point obviously you saturate the system so uh, it flattens out. Um, so, one of the ideas that we have with starting Stropo was what if you can get anybody 10 times faster applications? Like everybody in the world can have a very fast storage system and that will translate in all the applications that are run to be 10 times faster and not uh, with million dollar boxes but with something, that's have that, something that has much lower TCO and makes it affordable but also makes everybody way more productive. Like most of the guys that understand, latency is their number one metric because the, the lower the latency, the faster the applications. They've already done everything they could to optimize their applications, caching, uh, settings on the uh, kernels, et cetera, et cetera, in VM settings. But this is a very simple way to have, you know, just plug in a, a much faster storage system and everybody has 10 times faster applications. And this is kind of like a small example that shows what these guys did in, in their case. Uh, the second case that uh, we selected um, is a game that's an online, uh, massively multiplayer online game with some 40 million users. Uh, their number one metric was, you know, preventing downtime because it's very costly for them. The other one is like reducing uh, page load time because the moment that the page loads slowly, you know, they, they're losing um, users. Uh, in their case, the system was KVM, Stropo, and Open Nebula. The, uh, the, cloud management system we shown. It's much white, uh, much simpler and works very well. So a lot of guys that are kind of in private clouds choose it over OpenStack or something like that. Um, so they have multiple clusters of store pool. Each cluster is usually something like five storage nodes, uh, 40 hypervisors in a segregated fashion. So standalone storage uh, and standalone compute servers. They're heavily running databases. So they hammer the system with databases. Um, each storage node has four SATA SSDs in this case and two times 10 gigi network. Um, so this is kind of like a, a small screenshot of the game that we have here. Um, this is their di diagram, like very simple again, a couple of switches, uh, no uh, links between the two switches, shame on us again, <laughs> but they have it. <laughs> um, 
So uh, here are the business metrics that they've gotten, and they were thinking about these things. 100% uh, uptime, uh, constant one millisecond latency under their extremely heavy load. Uh, they did, they implemented Stropo, and the number one metric that they were looking at is page loading time. So in, in their case, uh, they basically uh, reduced the page, uh, page loading, uh, loading time about three times. And the other metric that they're looking at is how much faster they are compared to their competitors. With this final optimization, they are about four times faster. The last bullet uh, that I put uh, here was something very interesting that I've gotten from Financial Times uh, guys. Basically, they have obviously a, a large readership base, and they made this study of how much money are they losing if their page load time is uh, slower. And they, they did this test. They said, OK, if our website is, uh, one, takes one second longer to load, 4.55% of the customer just churn, and they never kind of uh, put their credit card, we'd never get their money. Three seconds uh, delay is like almost 8% of revenue uh, going out. So they said like this is millions and millions of dollars a month. So that was a very interesting thing that I found and I thought that it is a, a, an easy way to measure and quantify what a faster storage system can do for your customers. Not only much better uh, user experience, not only better uh, customer satisfaction or churn, but also kind of saving doors. Um, and I think these are like two very simple cases that you know, we wanted to show, and this is kind of the end of our uh, official presentation. I'm just gonna get you to go back one slide there, and if it's not mean, can you tell me what they had before? that uh, uh, they were running 200, 300? Uh, sure, before that they were uh, running, I think, local uh, SSDs. Yeah, so, so they had... Uh, this was their, yeah, th this was their, um, their virtualization effort. Yes. So, so they used to have separate physical servers with databases on them. Okay. They moved them from physical servers to... Uh, okay, so they had physical servers with local SSDs. And I, I'm not 100% sure it, if it was local, Local SSDs or local hard drives? I think uh, it was local, local SSDs. SSDs. Yeah. And then they virtualized, put bare metal servers onto kind of like a common stack. Common stack. That's kind of. Um, and it's um, for them kind of a large benefit. <laughs> they uh, in the case study, so we kind of interviewed them, asked them what, why, yeah. what did you win, why did you do this? Uh, in the case study, they didn't talk that much about. Uh, say we saved a lot of cost in our data center or we reduced our servers yes. 10 times because they really did. Like the physical to virtual was about 10 Consolidation times. Consolidation was yeah. important as well. Okay. Uh, they didn't talk about that. They talked about this stuff. Page load time yeah. from Performance the Performance is the key. Yeah. key yeah. When you talk to customers, you have a couple sets of companies. One are focusing on cost savings. The other ones are saving on kind of growth and how can we become, become better. And obviously some are somewhere in between they're conscious about both things, but usually one is the main driver. No, I was just curious. Yeah. That's a pretty significant uh, improvement. Mm -hmm. Good.